In this video we are playing Backpack Explorer, Find the Animals. So I found this game by accident but I'm really glad that I did. Um, it's a really fun but educational game. So for the younger players of Roblox as well as any animal lovers, uh, this would be a game to try out. You do get the opportunity to learn facts about the animals as well as their habitats. And for every biome that you complete you get a badge or a patch on your bag. So for me it sort of feels like I'm back in brownies. <laughs> um, so I will show you all the animals in the biomes. The video isn't uh, ordered by location, it's just in the order that I found them. This is my exact gameplay. Unfortunately I was too late to get the bear hat but it's not a problem. Apparently there is some more um, freebies coming with some more updates. There is an order list available in my video description. I have written which biome I'm kind of wandering around. I have also sped up the video, so unfortunately if you're playing the game you won't wander this quick. And what's really nice is that some of these animals actually move, so it looks like they would be moving in their own natural wild habitat, which is absolutely lovely. The only downside really to this game is that a lot of the animals are duplicated. With all the animals and the different species, it would have been nice to have some more content rather than the duplicate animals. Um, so maybe in some updates if we can start seeing some replacements. You know, you've got ladybirds, why not have beetles as well? And the only other thing would be kind of a permanent sprint button. It's quite a large map. And for a mobile user, you can see that the sprint button is on top of my jump button, which is quite annoying. But aside from that, it's a really well scripted game. It's really well built. And it is just a lovely, gentle, find the game. But with that interesting facts as well, I've learned stuff from this. I didn't know about some of these animals. And I'm like old. <laughs> If you do get stuck with any of the animals, please do drop me a comment. I will always try to help you the best that I can. As I said, the animals are duplicated. If you can tell me from your catalogue which biome you're missing them from, this will help me to help you. And if I can ask if you can help me by supporting me by liking this video, dropping me a comment, and of course, most importantly, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you so, so much. So the first time you get the animals, you get 10 points, and then for every other duplicate, you get five. I don't know what the points do, apart from rank up. Um, you can rebirth once you've finished as well, if you want to do it all over again. Another slight tweak may be different facts for different ones around the map. Some of the facts do duplicate, um, so it sort of makes it, again, slightly a bit boring to get them all over again. So there is actually a map to help you out. So those are all the biomes that you will see in your Explorer book. I would say if you do enjoy exploring to get out there off the screen and actually get out into the world and find some of these uh, species and animals and plants for yourself um, it's really easy to make a homemade explorer book to go off and try and find stuff in your local area just remember obviously to stay safe and if you are a younger player to go with an adult It does give you a hint when wildlife is nearby. I don't think that's necessarily as important for the bigger animals because you can see them. But of course, some of these animals are really small, uh, especially the butterfly that gave me a bit of a run for my money around the meadow. <laughs>
obviously I'm not stopping to show you all of the facts but please do feel free in your own gameplay to have a read and learn about these animals and insects. I do hope that they expand the game. Um, there's loads of opportunities with rainforest, uh, ice, you know, like the, the kind of Arctic world, the ocean. So this game really has got an opportunity to expand. I mean, if you want to go back in time, you can even do the dinosaurs. But that scripting with the heads moving and the bodies moving is lovely. It just brings these animals to life a bit more. I love the word scratching the tree. If you've ever seen the Jungle Book, it just reminds me of Blue scratching his back on one of the trees. It's really cute. <laughs> The only thing I find a bit weird is that the kind of birds um, are sort of life size, yet the ladybug is absolutely enormous in comparison. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to see a ladybird that big, especially not in my house, which is where I usually see them. So if you see here, the blue jay is actually life size to what you'd expect to see them on the fence. Oh, and don't even get me started on the spiders. They are like tarantula sized in this game as well, if you compare it to the sizes of the other animals. The only thing I did find with this game was that I sort of just aimlessly wandered for a little bit because, well I was exploring wasn't I really, I kind of get turned around when it, the map's similar so it's all trees, I sort of think like where am I now? <laughs> I said I would absolutely love them to update this game. I'd love to come back and play a fuller catalogue of animals and insects. We have the ant hill with the ants going about their business. And we are halfway through the animals. For some reason, there is a hole in the map, so just be careful if you are walking through the bushes because I fell uh, twice, I think it was, through that hole. <laughs> and here, obviously, you can see you can learn all the individual facts about the animals, which is lovely. Just running through how much I have got left to find. So again you can see even in the same area of the cave we've got three repeated uh, bats you've got repeated spiders i'm sure there are loads more animals that could have been included in that i can appreciate obviously given the movement the scripting the styling of the animals it probably does take a lot of coding or time or development um, but just carry on the good work if the developer ever does see this video Coming from a parent of two children myself, obviously my kids love to learn facts about animals. Um, my son has a, an, an animal encyclopedia which he loves reading to me, so this is the type of thing that I love about this game. Again, 
again, like you don't need a duplicate owl. There are loads of species of owls available to put in this game, and each would have different features, different facts about them. I don't think we have groundhogs here in the UK. Or if we do, you must call them something different. So I've never seen one. Um, all I've ever heard of them is sort of in Groundhog Day with Bill Murray, if you've ever seen that film. <laughs> the sparkly paw print lead you to the bear hat but as I said like you can't claim that now because they're all taken which is a real shame I would potentially say another development if the map does expand to include sort of the ocean um, any arctic areas is to I know you have to teleport back to hub but to be able to teleport to the different areas would be helpful as well There looks to be three more um, three more things you can collect coming soon so I will be interested to see what we have. You can also uh, equip a backpack which shows off your packages as well. So for this part of the video I will sort of jump around the map and um, it's just because I sort of aimlessly wandered whilst I was trying to find some of the ones that I had sort of forgotten in the areas. So we're heading up the mountain now. And we'll do the cave whilst we're here. And again, there's lovely attention to detail in the cave um, with the kind of rock formations that you would see typically in a cave. It's really, really nice. Again, that spider is like tarantula size. I would not be exploring anywhere near that in real life. I am a bit of an arachnophobic, I will admit.
Again, spider. Loads of species of spiders you could tap into and give different facts. It's nice also that you get the tick next to the animal so you know which ones you've collected and which ones you haven't. That's a really nice touch, especially on a map of this size. And we are into the final 10 to find now. So that is mountain complete and you can see that the patch has appeared on my backpack. sort of into the scenery and the shrubbery a bit more maybe up the challenge element just a little bit beautiful robin redbreast there absolutely love robins just where we found the rabbit and I can't believe that fox was that close to spawn and I didn't even see it amazing how blind you can be sometimes in these games I just didn't even look <laughs> so the eagle eye viewers will see I'm actually on number 60 but for some reason the video didn't say for butterfly but there it is and then finally we are going to find the last moose And there it is, majestically watching over all of the river. So our backpack, I've got all my patches. I feel very proud. And we have also filled up all of our Explorer book for now. As I said, I do hope that they add more animals, maybe take out some duplicates and add some more habitats. But for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you real soon. Bye.